What's going on, YouTube? So, don't mind me. I'm here on my lunch break. <laughs> I'm not going to be rude and eat and talk at the same time. So, I'm going to put this up. Let me tell y'all how I almost died the other day. Today, Wednesday. So, this is a fresh video for y'all. But I almost died Monday. So, as y'all know, Easter's coming up. Easter's this Sunday. And before y'all go out and buy all them eggs, check your eggs. Boy, I had a bad egg the other day. So, Sunday, I went to the grocery store. And I had went grocery shopping or whatever. And I bought some new eggs. But I already had, like, five eggs at home. And see me, I have like this like clear plastic storage container or whatever. And that's what I keep my eggs in. I just take them out of the carton because it like looks better in the refrigerator. It's more organized or whatever. Well, I took the eggs out and see, I don't cook like that. And when I say cook, like I don't be in there cooking like spaghetti and meatloaf and frying chicken and cooking collard greens and stuff like that. Like I'd be like fixing grilled cheese sandwiches and putting frozen pieces in the oven. Like I don't consider that cooking. So Sunday night, I went ahead and boiled the rest of the eggs that was left in my refrigerator. Now, again, I don't know how long them eggs been in there, but I didn't think they was that old. So Monday when I got off work, I ate one boiled egg and a bowl of fruit. No big deal, right? That was like at 3 o'clock, 3.30. So I went to the gym at 5 to do one of the little workout classes. So when I walk in the gym, I'm feeling fine or whatever. And like right before class start, my stomach got in a knot. And you know how like you tie a knot or whatever. And it just felt like somebody was just twisting, pulling that knot. And I was just like, oh gosh. Oh gosh, what is this? Okay. I don't know. So about 15 minutes into the class, we was doing something on the step. And I had to stop. Like, I just crouched down. Because, like, my stomach is, like, cramping up, like, burning. And I'm like, what the crap? And see, like, on my way home from work, I also had, like, a little protein shake. And it was a new one. But, like, I had had it before. But I hadn't had it in a while. So, I didn't know what it was. But, like, I was in class, like, hunched over. And, like, <laughs> the people in the class is like, is you okay? Is you okay? And I'm like, yeah. I'm good, I'm good, or whatever. But I was just like, Lord, please hurry up and let this class be over because it was only 30 minutes. Let me tell y'all, when I got home, when I got home, I couldn't get out the car fast enough. As soon as I got home, parked my car, took my keys out, opened the door, threw up everywhere. Well, not everywhere. I threw up in the grass. And y'all should have just seen me laying there in the driveway, just throwing up. And see, I hadn't thrown up in a long time. Like, a lot. Like I couldn't tell you the last time I threw up. But I was just throwing up, throwing up, throwing up. So finally, I get myself together and I make it on in the house. Luckily, none of my neighbors saw me because that would have been so embarrassing. So I make it on in the house. I'm like, okay. Let me get out of my gym clothes. Let me take a, like a cool shower or something and let me lay down. Okay? So I go lay down. About 30 minutes, it hit me again. I couldn't get to the bathroom fast enough. I'm talking about just... I'm everywhere. Everywhere. And I had called uh, my mama. I said, Ma... I said, I believe I didn't ate something. I said, I believe I didn't ate something. I said, I need you to bring me some Sprite and some crackers. I don't know what Sprite and crackers gonna do. Maybe it'll settle my stomach. But I need you to bring me something because I'm just throwing up all over the place. And she said, all right. Well, 30 minutes later, here she come. She knock on the door. Now, this is my mama now. My mama knock on the door. And by the time I get to answer the door, she back in her car with her mask on. Talking about something, I left it at the door. 
So I look down. It's a plastic bag with three hot cans of Sprite. Sprite wasn't even cold. They was hot. Room temperature. And then she had gave me some little pill to take for uh, nausea or whatever. I'm just like, gee, thanks, Ma. I mean, at least she did help me out. But she didn't come in and check my temperature or tuck me in or see if I needed help cleaning the throw-up up, which I didn't need help doing that. Well, I'm like, gee, thanks. So anyway, so I drunk that, put that Sprite on some ice, took that pill, and I laid back down. I think after I laid down, I think I might have threw up one more time. But I said all that to say this. Y'all know Easter coming up. Y'all going to be hiding them eggs for them chilling. Don't be cooking no bad eggs. Check them eggs because you're going to have kids throwing up all over the place. And you ain't want to have to clean all that up. Because you know it's spring break this week. The kids got to go back to school next week. And you don't want to keep them out no more than what they already is. Especially with this virtual learning. I don't know how these kids going to turn out with virtual learning. But that's a whole different story. But yeah. That's how I almost died Monday. Tuesday. Yesterday. I felt completely better. But I guess like my energy was so low from doing all that throwing up. Which is weird. I don't know. It just took a lot out of me. I was so tired yesterday. And so when I got off work yesterday... 4.30, I was in the bed, and I slept all the way to, like, 1 o'clock. So here I am up this morning at 1 o'clock making a video for y'all to have for y'all. But I'm telling y'all, check them eggs. Don't eat no bad eggs. But I'll see y'all next week. We got some, uh, some more videos coming out. Y'all don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Tell your mama, your granddaddy, all them. Peace.